Good day everyone, Chris Kaler from Chris Kaler Holistic here again. Uh, today I'm going to show you my techniques of dowsing that I use for determining what may be the cause of your health problem. And if it's going to help you, great. Um, let's get started. First of all, we can start with a picture. I'm going to put the camera down here so we can see the dowsing effect. We've got a picture of somebody. Okay, I've got this person's permission to, to use it. Her name is Marie. So it's all about asking the question and using the right charts. I've got a series of charts here that I've made up, quite a few of them. These are charts that I've done myself, taken from different courses and just my own findings. So here's my pendulum. Quartz crystal with uh, amethyst on top. Gives me the best readings. I put my hand on the person's picture to take her frequency and ask the question. Higher self, what is failing within Marie's body? The pendulum's going to swing around and it's going to direct me to a certain chart. What area in Marie's body is failing? Okay, so I know it's tough to see on the video, but it's swinging to the word digestive. So we're going to go work in the digestive system. It's going to let it swing a little bit more, make sure it doesn't want to move. You got to give your pendulum some time. It, it, sometimes it's looking and it needs to, to really look and find the answer. Okay, pretty confident there. So I'm going to go to my digestive system charts way back here. So on this chart it's got everything listed within the digestive system. What area in Marie's digestive system is failing please? This is going to show me the the number one area of concern. What area in Marie's digestive system is failing? In this case, it's the, the descending colon is the area we need to work on first. Now, there may be other areas within the digestive system that are failing, but descending colon, this is number one to work on. So now, we need to find out exactly what is happening within the di uh, descending colon. So, in my stressor charts, these are charts with, with stressors, and stressors can be anything from virus, parasites, infection, bacteria, negative energies. So what, what I practice is infinite possibilities. Anything is possible when you're working with a stressor. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> what is causing Marie's descending colon to fail? Now if you notice, I keep the question pretty much uh, the same. I just alter the, uh, the few keywords. So right away, it's going to virus. And when it goes to the word right away, you know it, it's it's found uh, the right answer. Let it swing a little bit. Now my findings in my clinic, uh, when I work with people, probably 80-85% of all people have got some type of virus that, that they don't even know about or, or the doctors don't even want to look for. So let's go to my virus charts. I have a hundred different viruses here to look for. Some are pretty common. What virus is causing Marie's descending colon to fail? Now the key word I'm using here is fail. It doesn't mean it's, it's actually failing, it just means that, uh, that that's a generic term I use and it gets me a more accurate answer. I used to use uh, what's the primary area and the weakest area, but when I use the word fail, it just finds a more accurate answer. Okay, what it's pointing to is virus herpes herpes virus herpes zoster to be exact now if you take herpes zoster uh, what the best way to describe it is shingles okay let it go now when I'm not sure that the pendulum is swinging to the right word I just say let it go and it'll find the right answer but it doesn't want to move okay so this person has got here let's, let's look at you this person has got the herpes zoster virus uh, within her descending colon and when you have any type of, of uh, virus that's causing your, your large intestine, small intestines to fail, 
then you're going to have all different types of problems. You're going to have a lot of allergies. You're going to have all different types of issues. The Chinese say that the, um, the kidneys is the trunk of the tree. Uh, if the trunk is, is failing, then the tree falls down. Same with the colon. If there's a problem within the colon, it's going to affect different areas of the body and, and it's going to uh, give you other symptoms that um, are going to lead you astray uh, for, for finding the, the, the answer. So um, with this system, it, for me, it's, it's uh, got to be 99% accurate. Um, and working from a picture, uh, I could probably get about 90% accuracy if you're in my clinic in my office next to me you're going to get a 99% accuracy rate with finding exactly what the problem is. And, and we're finding the absolute root problem to your health issue. And when you find that, then it's, it's much easier to deal with. So if the doctor says you have fibromyalgia, well, what the heck is that? That's a word that the doctor gave you uh, to describe your, your symptoms. So you need to find out what's causing those symptoms. So uh, quite often herpes zoster within the nervous system, it, it, look out, there's fibromyalgia. If it uh, you know, gets in other places, then it causes other symptoms. Uh, herpes virus is probably one of the most uh, prevalent viruses out there, uh, and people just don't have uh, an understanding about it. As soon as you say the word herpes, they think, I haven't been sleeping with anybody uh, uh, dirty or, or anything like that, and, and that's just a misconception that herpes is, is just an STD. It is, in fact, uh, uh, just a, a virus that can be passed back and forth. Uh, from mother to child. Uh, if if um, the mother has herpes virus within her, when you give birth, you pass on that virus. And it can go through the lineage like that. If there's a history of cold sores within your family, if there's a history of shingles, then you know that that herpes virus is being passed on. And pretty much the only way to deal with it properly is by using energy. Okay, so we need to move the, the frequency or the energy of that virus out of your body. How do we do that? Okay, well that's it's probably the easy part. Uh, let's go over here to <clears throat> Silverlight Pyramid. You can get a good picture of that. By using this pyramid, all you do is hold it to the body, wherever the virus is, and just tell the virus to leave. And just like that, by using this energy, um, the virus is going to leave the body. And it's usually within uh, 24 to 48 hours it happens. So that's the easy part. The, the hard part is, is obtaining one of these pyramids. Uh, you can't buy them in a store. Uh, the only place that you can get them is from myself or there are, are a few other people in Alberta who do make them. One of my colleagues makes them. Um, so you can look at my website chriskaylor.webs.com and you can have a look at the pyramid. If, you, if you'd like one yourself I could certainly make one for you. <clears throat> So that is, hi. That is uh, basically it for, for the dowsing. Now, if, if you're interested in, in uh, just finding out what might be causing your, your health problem, if you want to get a better handle on things, um, you can uh, have a look at my website. Uh, my email address is on there. My phone number is on there. You're more than welcome to call me anytime you like. I always make time for everybody. I am very busy, but uh, I always have to make time. So you can email me a picture, we, we can do a quick dowsing, and uh, we can go from there. And if you want to do some energy work, there are ways that I use to work uh, through subspace, so uh, distance healing. So if you want to uh, try that, experience that, we can do anything for you. Uh, once again, Chris Kaler here. Uh, we're going to see you soon. My website is chriskaler.webs.com. Please have a look, and uh, please place some comments. Have a good day and be healthy.